Hello everyone! Uh, I'm trying something a bit different, mostly because my main computer's not on, and I really need to use this camera more. Um, so obviously, I started off with that first book review about the Long Earth, and I have a stack of books next to me. This isn't even all the ones that I want to go through, but these are the ones I'm going to go through for now. They're all Terry Pratchett books, because I read a lot of Terry Pratchett. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd, I'd, I'm kind of going to rapid fire uh, book review. Well, this is all going to be one long video, but to you guys, it'll be uh, one, two, three, four, five different videos because I'm just going to record a long block on the camera and then transfer the file to the computer and do some editing. And Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Let's actually get to the uh, first book review, which um, the book I'm reviewing, I'll put the cover up on the actual video too so you can see it better, but it's Reaper Man by uh, Terry Pratchett, um, which is one of my favorites. Uh, my, I think my absolute favorite uh, Terry Pratchett book would still be Small Gods because I really like how it talks about religion and stuff like that, and as a very non-religious person myself, I am an atheist, uh, I found it very interesting, and I was like, you know what, that kind of explanation makes a lot of sense. Uh, other people might not like that, but, I mean, I, anyway, we'll talk about that later. Uh, for right now, we're talking about Reaper Man, which is, the focus of Reaper Man is death, and if you haven't read any Terry Pratchett books, which I'd urge you to do if you're into fantasy and uh, satire, death is like a thing that happens to people, but also a tangible being. Uh, they refer to him as a he, but I mean, I, death could technically be anything, really, genderless. Um, but it, it, it follows a little adventure about him, and I do enjoy uh, books with death. Um, I mean, makes an appearance in pretty much every Pratchett book, because it's, somebody dies at some point, um, but the ones focused around him I, I like quite a bit. So, um, Reaper Man is very good. It's basically a, a book about like self-discovery and, um, and finding meaning in life, or I guess in this case, death. Um, yeah, definitely. Highly recommend it. Very good writing. I mean, I, I'll always say Pratchett's writing is quite good. Um, especially the Discworld series. That's like his bread and butter is the fantasy and, uh, and satire. Um, but yeah. Um, very good. Ha has some, some good themes and, and lessons in it, really. Uh, very thought-provoking, I'd say. Uh, it, it also follows some other characters that are quite enjoyable. Like, I, I don't think there was a character in this book that I did not like. Uh, which is funny, because there are so many characters on the Discworld and in, uh, Pratchett's books that sometimes you'd think it would be easy to, uh, to lose track, but they all are memorable in their own ways, and they tend to, they, they tend to make surprise appearances in other books, because they're all in the same universe. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, my thoughts on Reaper Man and uh, I'd highly recommend giving it a read. 